Hi, this is John from Flat Cat Gear. So a number of people have asked us, where did you get your name? It seems kind of like a goofy name. Uh, so there's a little story behind this. Uh, it was about five, six years ago, uh, I was doing a lot of, uh, uh, building a lot of stoves and testing stoves. And probably the most famous stove out there is the CatGan stove. And, and this is what it looks like. Very straightforward. Um, you can make one in 10, not five minutes using a hole punch. Uh, the biggest problem with this stove is um, it's fuel, it's not very fuel efficient. It takes a lot of fuel to boil two cups of water and it burns pretty hot. It's hard to, hard to um, boil a mug on it because flames shoot out so high. So I like the concept and I like the simplicity, but one of the things I didn't like was I didn't like the height. Now, at the time I've also been working on windscreen, so I was trying to get things as small as possible. And so I sat down one day and said, what's the, what's the shortest stove I could possibly make? And so this is, this is that particular stove. In fact, this is the original stove. And so the idea was, well, it's a cat can, it's you know, based on a cat can stove. I was using a cat can and I wanted to make it flat as possible. So the name came about as Flat Cat. Well, here's a picture of it burning at night and it works really well. Now it's, it's basically a little over, a little less than a quarter of an inch thick. And so there's some safety concerns. There's also capacity concerns. When I started uh, building the uh, Bobcat system, um, it's designed for the 1.3 liter pot. And I wanted to be able to uh, boil four cups of ice water. And so the volume had to go way up. And a number of, there were safety issues with the, the flames being so close to the ground. And so that's how we ended up with the Bobcat standard stove. So anyway, the long and short of it is that is how we got our name, Flat Cat Gear. Come visit us at www.blackcatgear.com.